Hi guys, another metabolic and endocrine video here. Remember, if you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment down below for more videos like this to pop up for your medical exam revision. So this video is all about Wilson's disease, what it is, how to diagnose it, how to treat it, what are the key things we need to remember about the condition. Now, Wilson's disease is all about copper. It's too much copper in the body which can accumulate, get into various organs and cause various presentation signs and symptoms. So how do you get it? Genetically, it's an autosomal recessive condition. So you need two affected genes to have the condition in the first place. From a biochemical point of view, how do you diagnose it? There's a few different things that can be tested and looked for. So firstly, a couple of different serum copper levels. You've got your serum-free copper level, which is usually high, and your serum total copper level, which goes down. Your karyoplasmin level is a thing that, karyoplasmin is a thing that copper binds to, goes down, but your urine copper level goes up. So two things go up, your urine copper and your serum-free copper, and two things go down, your serum total copper and your karyoplasmin. Now, how it presents depends a bit on where the copper accumulates in your body, but it can present in a number of different ways. For example, it can affect moods or things like depression, personality change, maybe the first presenting feature. In the eyes, you get these Kaiser Fleischer rings that you can see in someone's eyes. It can affect things like speech and swallowing because it gets into the nervous system and affects these things. You can get tremors in the, the limbs. You can get different movements in the limbs, again, affecting the nervous system again. And also, again, the liver and cause things like liver cirrhosis and cause liver failure ultimately, and it may therefore present in the various signs and symptoms of chronic liver disease. How do you treat it? You want to chelate the excess copper somehow, so something like penicillamine taken long term can sometimes help to do this. So lots of different things to remember about copper and Wilson disease. Remember, eventually copper gets into the organs and cause a variety of symptoms and signs. Much more like this on our AKT webinars, audiobooks, and courses. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.